Hello everyone, this is Zavio. I'm going to be taking this video as an opportunity to talk about a rather controversial weapon. You see, the Scout's Soda Popper is not banned in Highlander. I was rather surprised when I found this out. You see, the Soda Popper is widely considered to be better than stock. When my team found this out, they told me that I should start running it. Well, I naturally said no. They naturally said, yes, you should, it is overpowered. And so, here we are. Uh, this is a pickup game, it's not an official match, because I just... I, I just don't know if I could use it in an official match, I just feel bad. So the Soda Popper, as I was saying before, it's usually considered by most to be just an item better than stock. It can do what stock can do, and then some. Now, some people might argue, wait, there is a major downside to this weapon. It has a third of the clip size. Just look at that. That is a two. Yeah, that is indeed a two. That is not a six. This right here, that is a two. It is not a six. However, it does reload both shots at once, and rather quickly, too. Shot through a wall, and you're to blame. However, poor hitbox uh, with hit scan weapons, the horribly lag compensated hitboxes, is a topic for another video. This is the video about the soda popper. So, as I was saying before, the soda popper, it's usually considered to be overpowered, though to some extent or another, I consider it to be the scout's version of the degreaser, where it can just do everything stock can do and then a bit more. Yes, it, because of the fast reload, I don't really notice much of a downside to it. I mean, yes, if I'm fighting a scout and one of my two shots miss, then yes, I am at a disadvantage until I reload. So, I suppose that that may be a very situational downside, but it is there nonetheless. Well, my team, as I said before, convinced me to start running it because it's overpowered. I mean, why else would I run it? It's, it's kind of an ugly weapon. It's not like I'd use it for looks. It looks really gaudy, too, because it's all flashy and in-your-face. However, the ugliness of certain weapons is a topic for another video. This is the video about the soda popper and other things to a lesser extent, but mostly the soda popper. Here I am. You know, I really should have died here. I really should have died there. And then I did not. I did not earn that kill, and that kill was handed to me by the mini-crits. Pretty sure I die here, though. I mean, it'd just be kind of silly if I didn't. Oh yeah, he, he built a mini-center, I'm out. So, that brings up a very good topic, the Gunslinger. Many people are saying that the Gunslinger should be either banned in Highlander, or reworked, or nerfed, or all of the above. However. I can understand it being used in Highlander. You see, the Soda Popper makes somebody who is horrible at Scout, such as myself, able to perform decently. So, it, this usually ends up with the question, what, ha what happens when, say, an ESEA invite Scout joins a Highlander team and then decides to run Soda Popper? After all, it's not banned in UGC Highlander. And it is better than stock. You cannot usually agree with that. Well, th this is a very difficult subject. I imagine a world where there is an aimbot sniper on one team. Well, how would you solve that? You'd find something that counters the aimbot sniper, such as an admin blocking him, and then use that. In this case, that admin blocking the aimbot sniper happens to be in the shape of a mini-sentry. You see, the really... Oh, that's weird. The, like, most reliable way to make sure a scout leaves an area is to build a mini-sentry. Yes, this could have been done much better, say... I don't know. The Liberty Launcher was a pretty good example until Valve well, nerfed it. Or reworked, nerfed, did something with it. They 
added one rocket but made each rocket weaker. But now it's mostly just sentries. And yes, this is a very unfair thing to do, but so is using the soda popper. And so, whenever I use the soda popper, I do my best to not complain about other people's weapon choices, because after all, I am using the soda popper. Follows my turn a lot now. Uh, don't mind me. Well, the soda popper always ends up giving me kills I definitely would not have been able to get with stock. And, well, frankly, that, that's really just, like, the biggest complaint I have with it. It just doesn't feel like I'm earning most of these kills, you know? Like, you know, I could be doing, uh, you know, horribly with stock, I suppose. I am a bad scout, after all. But, you know, at least it feels like I earned all of the kills that I got. And that's why I always run, I used to always run critical and whenever I run stock. Now, coming up here, I'm going to stop rambling and get to the major point in this video. In about 20 seconds, I'm going to go on the point on my own. After the enemy team has capped it and is standing on it. With stock, I would have died immediately. It would have been nothing to save me. Here we are. So I'm running through here. I killed the heavy. Two shot him. Somehow I didn't hit the pyro. And then I hit the pyro, and I killed three people, and the point is cleared. I jumped the point on my own. I should not have killed anybody. I'm a scout. I'm the 1v1 specialist. I'm not supposed to be able to fight crowds. And yet, there you go. With the help of Cat Funt, Smokey the Second, and that third person, I they, they capped. No, I cleared the point, and they capped. So, the mini century. I don't feel like it should be removed or nerfed or reworked until the soda popper is moved or nerfed or reworked. And that's just simply my opinion. Other people may feel that the soda popper isn't overpowered. I feel it is. I also have examples for it. Like me jumping the enemy team and killing three people, clearing the point, and the only thing that killed me was the mini century. Also the spy, because I'm bad, as stated before. Now imagine that I wasn't bad. Just imagine how scary that would be. And with that, I'll take my leave. This has been Zovio. I hope you enjoyed this rambling. This has been over ten times I've tried to record this video. So I hope I upload the correct one. This has been Zovio. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Goodbye.